to make the skies dance to its tunes. Tejas Mark II is expected to see the light of the day sooner than later. Speculations have though been varying over its induction year, with some quarters claiming it to be incorporated into the Indian Air Force not earlier than 2030. Albeit the MOU and not the engine deal between GE and HAL has been signed, while others claiming it to be rolled out by 2027. The monitoring authorities of the project claim that the preparations are in the advanced stages and if the hurdles imposed by the Ministry of Defence are lifted, then the aircraft can be rolled out in six months. The technological side of the LCA Pegasus Mark II program depicts that the designing part of 82% of its components has already been handed over to the manufacturers over six months ago. And what remains is the line replaceable units, the modular components and sealed units of an aircraft, which are designed to be replaced within a short time without using very specialized tools, and the infrared search and track system, a method for detecting and tracking objects which give off infrared radiation. The, radi the relationship changes between the US and India on various geopolitical issues ranging from India's stand on Ukraine war, Russian crude oil purchased by Bharat, and more recently, the Khalistan issues relating to some wanted US terrorists have delayed the technological transfer of the GE F414 engine to Bharat. Bharat is already in receipt of eight F414 engines from GE which are available for the first prototype of Tejas Mark II. Some of these engines will go into testing jigs, but they cannot be used in prototypes until the transfer of technology deal of engine is signed between GE and HAL. Although it is said that the funds approved by the Cabinet Committee on Security for this set purpose shall be released once the deal is documented and signed, People closely associated with the project have confirmed the release of funds in September 2023. All said and done, none of these reasons has halted the progress of the project. For the first time, model-based definition approach has been adopted to design the structure of the aircraft, under which 3D models have been released, which makes construction easier, rendering maintainability in a better way with a modular design. The aircraft will be designed better according to the future upgrades. As per the sources, work has been done on jigs and fixtures to assemble the remaining parts of the aircraft, whether it is the wings or the fuselage, front, rear or center sections of the fuse box. These are expected to be ready by October 2024. The assembly of the wings of the aircraft is reported to start from January 24. Different line repressible units will start getting assembled from January 25, while equipping of the aircraft and integration of different LRUs will start in December 24. And by June 2025, this is scheduled to get completed. Looking at things according to these updates, there is a good chance of the aircraft being rolled out by the end of 2025 or earlier 2026. The first flight of Tejas Mark II can see the light of the day as early as 2026. Talking about the signing of the engine deal, it is learned that the US Congress has already given its approval for the same. Though latest reports also confirm MQ-9 deal with Bharat becomes latest hostage to the US Congress. For your updates, MQ-9 deal valued at 3 billion US dollars signifies a significant investment in enhancing Bharat's military capabilities. The Predator drone deal poses challenges for Bharat's defense preparedness, especially in a rapidly evolving geopolitical landscape. This puts a big question mark over America's reliability with regards to F-414 engines in future, in spite of the prototype engines being available with Bharat. Unless the manufacturing of these engines actually starts in the country, it is imperative for the Ministry of Defense to look for alternatives. Bharat has plans to locally develop a new engine with 110 kilonaut class thrust for the AMCA Mark II, which is expected to go into production from 2035. The same engine has been selected for the indigenous LCA Mark II. This is to meet requirements of Super Cruise. The GE F14 engine 
can achieve up to 95 to 98 kilonauts thrust. A quick decision in this regards is the need of the R to ensure an indigenous and early rollout of the deadly eagle LCA Tejas Mark II. Jai Hind. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel for more such updates.